these days are new and daunting. The edge of the unknown, like we've never faced before. An invisible foe, abundant and indifferent to those in its crosshairs. Carried through crowds across every border, across every ocean, and the infection spread remains in full motion. Silence has set in on the streets, in every city, every town, life placed in stasis. While the onset of panic sweeps the shops, scours the shelves, but there's more to consider than just looking after ourselves. Those with the most to fear see a world beyond their windows, familiar, now turned hostile, and a strategy opposed to our social nature is dispersed through the airwaves and graces our ears. It may drive us into hiding. It may drive us from each other. It may keep us locked down, but we are not beaten. As the system strains and staggers on, an army of doctors, nurses and medics wage the viral war night and day, with any and all the weapons they can find. The convoys carrying tons of supplies hold the rolling line along the arteries of an island nation. The supermarket staff, staying by their posts, ensuring provisions flow evenly and replenish their communities. Volunteers assemble where they're needed, or even the smallest help can make the biggest difference. We are cowed, but not conquered. We are stunned, but not silenced. We are down, but not defeated. With medicine, we can make miracles. In supporting each other, we show our strength. With a plan in place, we can see a way out. With these, we have hope, and with hope, we can win.